we all know that uh, London High School has probably one of the most successful football programs down through the years. Tonight uh, we have as our guest Coach Terry Nance. A little background on Coach Nance. Uh, he took over the London Cross Country Program and Track Program in about 1978, I believe. Is that correct, Terry? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And since that time, uh, in Central Ohio and around in Ohio, uh, he is commonly known as one of the best track and cross country coaches that they, we have. Uh, Terry, uh, cross country and track, uh, is what's the relationship between the two? Uh, Jim, there's very little relationship between the two. Basically, just the fact that both sports involve running, and that's about it. Okay, well, uh, the kids that you have involved in your program, Terry, the cross-country kids, uh, are a lot of them involved in your track program also? Most of them are. Okay, as distance are. runners. I right. Say. Okay, uh, I, this season, uh, uh, you had a rather successful season. Would you like to go back over the season and... Uh, and give a few highlights as to, as, as to what the team accomplished this year? Well, I think our biggest accomplishments were that we, biggest accomplishment was the fact that we improved with every meet that we ran in. Uh, our goals always have been in cross country to have a good October. And we had a good October this year. Our boys were runner up in the BAC. Our girls were champions. Uh, the boys were runner up again the next week in the district meet. The girls were champions repeating titles from a year ago. Uh, boys, first time since I believe 1986, we took our entire boys team to the regional meet and finished ninth as a team. All seven runners coming back next year. And actually we were only 40 points away from qualifying in the state meet for the boys. Our girls team went into the regional meet probably as the favorites to win the meet and uh, one of our runners experienced a problem and had to drop out of the race. and. Uh, relied on the rest of our runners to carry us through and we came up just four points short of qualifying to the state meet so it was except for that one moment it was a very good october for us okay uh, well terry can you can you give us a rundown on the, on the let's start with the boys squad uh, um, who were your varsity runners this year we had eight men on our varsity squad this year uh, we had one senior shane duffy yes. uh, we had junior mark Tremaine, sophomore mike artis Sophomore Adam Elliott, freshman Jeremiah Marks, sophomore Chris Chadwell, sophomore Curtis Hanna, and sophomore Randy Combs. Okay, it sounds like a lot of underclassmen. It sounds like something. Seven out of eight future. underclassmen. Okay, now uh, uh, on your varsity boys, uh, uh, I, I do know you can tell me who uh, uh, at, at the league meet, uh, uh, the runners that by their order of finish are selected the all league uh, team. That's correct. Can you tell me who got individual honors this year? Yes, uh, Mark Tremaine, Mike Artis, and uh, Adam Elliott all made first team all league. Oh, that's tremendous. And Mark's here with us tonight, so yeah, I'm going to introduce him in a minute and Good. allow him to say some things. Good. Well, uh, now the girls team, uh, uh, who was on your girls team? Well, the, uh, we had 14 girls on our team this year, and I, I hope, uh, <laughs> I'm going to hope that uh, you our, your list. <laughs> our two over here will remind me if I forget anybody, okay. but uh, at the regional level we had... Uh, Freshman Shanna Ryan, senior Jamie Armantrout, senior Holly Price, sophomore Chris, or freshman Crystal Strobel, uh, sophomore Jennifer Lawhorn, freshman Betty Bean, and junior Alicia Hastings. And our alternate at the regional level was a sophomore Melissa Menda. Also on our squad were seniors Lindsay Loudon and Anita Lewis, uh, junior Sarah Black, sophomore Jody Fetro, junior Jessica Rhodes, and sophomore Karen Wilson. Is that 14 guys? <laughs> okay, now at the league meet, Terry, uh, uh, I know some of your kids had special honors. Uh, right. Who was selected uh, to your league teams on the, for the, on the girls? Side? Shannon and Jamie were first team all league, and then Jennifer, Holly, and Crystal were, Crystal were second team all league. Okay, now uh, all you football fans, in case you don't know, we, uh, football players do not play on two different teams. Now there's something very unusual here. Uh, tell me about uh, Shannon. Shannon's a soccer player and a cross-country runner, and uh, now we're talking boys soccer. Boys team soccer, here? right? Okay. So she plays on the varsity squad. She's lettering. Is that correct? Uh, yes. She okay. was a starter at the end of the season. Starter at the end and, of the season. Uh, started for us, obviously, in cross country. Okay. Now, how do you guys? Uh, how do you and, uh, and the uh, soccer? Uh, Heath Elliott is the soccer coach, coach Elliott. and he's mm -hmm. one of your old uh, proteges. Is that correct? Well, I had him in 
physical education class. Okay. Was he also a runner? No. He, he was, was a soccer player and a tennis player. Okay. I uh, tried to get it. Okay. How times. do you guys share an athlete like this? How do you, how's, how's an athlete? I mean, there's a lot of time involved, a lot of preparation. How, how do you guys share an athlete like this? Well, the first thing we did, we sat down and looked at our game schedules and, and meet schedules and saw whether there would be potential conflicts. And then I gave him a rough idea each week of what our practice schedule was, and he gave me his. And uh, with Shannon's help, we pretty much decided when she would be where. Okay. Uh, Terry, you've got three fine-looking youngsters over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you like to introduce them to the, to the folks and uh, give a little rundown on them and uh, maybe ask them a few embarrassing questions? <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love to do that. Okay. First, on the uh, far left is Senior Holly Price. In the middle, rows between two thorns, or the thorn between two roses. Uh, junior, Mark Tremaine, and on my right, uh, senior Jamie Armentrout. Uh, Mark being the only one coming back next year, Mark's been a part of our program for three years now and has been our number one runner for three years. Uh, I would ask Mark how he felt about his season this year. As a team or an individual? Both. Individually, I was a little upset at the end. Overall, I thought I had a pretty good season. I had peaks and valleys, though. There's a time I had good meets and so so. And as a team, I think we did a lot better than I thought we would. A lot of underclassmen. I, I figured Shane would be in the top five, but he wasn't. Uh, I think we did pretty good. A lot better than I thought we would. I wanted to win the BAC after the season was on, or was going on, uh, I figured that we had a chance to win after what we did in the previous meets, but uh, overall we, had, we did better than I thought we would. I was proud of the team. What do you think we need to do as a team or as an, as an, as an individual next year to improve on Just, what we did this year? I think we have seven dedicated guys coming back, and I think We'll work hard in the summer. We'll get the job done in the summer, and we'll be ready to go. A lot of hard work, team runs. We'll be ready to go. As an individual, I think uh, I need to step it up a little bit, run with the big guys, see see if I can do it. That's about it. Well, I think Mark hit the nail on the head. We need to get the work done in the summertime, and to run with the big guys, as he said, I think he's very capable of that. Well, uh, I know Terry, that. Terry, when you talk about the summer program, uh, uh, cross country requires a lot of input on the athletes when they're not with you. Right. So we have a lot of self-discipline involved. What kind of a program do they follow in the summer? Well, I hope everything I'm going to say is legal here. <laughs> but uh, I try to sit down with each person at the beginning of the summer and try to establish where they think they can start at and uh, try to give them a program that they, I think will fit their schedule and what they're physically capable of doing over the course of the summer. And basically it's just putting in a certain number of miles. And building a base is what we need to do so that when the season starts and we get into specific type workouts that they're able to, able to do that work. I recall back in the, in the first days when you were the coach, we had a lot, uh, the athletes involved had a lot of heavy mileage. Uh, has the thoughts on that kind of changed through the years? So. Changed a lot. Uh -huh. uh, more, less less mileage now and a little more quality a little work. More quality. I think more speed, in other words. Right. I think uh, with the age of the people that you're dealing with, the more mileage you put on them, the more risk they are at injury and things. Right. Um, how do you bring them? Uh, why is London always up in the top? when it comes time to hand out the hardware. Uh, some of the earlier meets, how do you bring these guys to a peak at the right time, Terry? Well, I think it's just with the, the training you do. I think uh, some schools get into some of the, what I consider late season training real early, and they're very, very successful. But people this age really can only handle, can only peak and last maybe three, roughly three weeks. Mm -hmm. 
So I think if you give that work too early, then you're going to be very successful in the, at the early part of the season. But late in the season, then you're going to start having injuries and a lot of fatigue factors. And then when they start tapering off at the end of the season, when they should be getting better, then people psychologically are going to start having a lot of problems as to why they're not improving. And so you get a vicious cycle going. Just so what, what we have is an entire summer that comes down to what? Seven, eight days of performance? Pretty much, yeah. At the peak time yeah. of the season. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's really kind of mm -hmm. scary. So you have to be careful of injury because if you're, injury, if you're injured when the time comes, it's lost, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, well, get back, to, get back to your two girls here. Who, uh, the girls had a very successful season. Well, we've been, they've been very successful for the last three seasons, and these two young ladies are very responsible for that. Um, Holly started out, both Holly and Jamie started as sophomores, so they finished their third year for us, and uh, both have received all district or all league honors, as the case may be. And I think this year their leadership was very much a part of why we were as, as successful as we were. I would ask each one of them what motivated them to join this sport in the first place. Holly? Um, I remember as a, a freshman, Wendy Combs came up to me in the lunch line and said, um, your dad said you're going to run cross country. And I said, <laughs> you can pay me a million dollars to run cross country. And I still haven't got my check yet in the mail. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, Coach Nance told me that it would help in my hurdles in the spring, and that was a pretty bad lie, but I'm, <laughs> I am really glad that I, that I ran, and, and as each season, yeah, I took each season more seriously than the one before. I'm glad that the season finished, um, I, I'm glad that I'm off of cross country now, but I wish we could have that one case of state. But I'm really glad, glad I ran. Well, well, what motivated me, like Holly, word of mouth, Karen and Rachel. The seniors from last year came and asked me if I wanted to run. Then Mr. Nance came up and asked me after gym class. <laughs> so basically, just the same way Holly was, just by word of mouth. Since I can't ask you the question about next year, I would ask you, since you are departing seniors, what you would say, might maybe what you've already said, what, what kind of message would you pass back to the ones that the girls that are coming back next year. Holly? All of them have so much potential. They're all very strong. And we had three freshmen in our top seven already. We had Melissa Minda, who was, it was her first year, and she was she did well. And they all have so much potential. The team can go really far next year and the year after. So I just tell them to keep at it. I know they'll do well. I would tell them to enjoy it while you can. It goes by too fast. <laughs> and to keep working hard. But they have a lot of dedication to the sport now. I think since they got a taste of what winning a competition is like, they're going to do really well next year. One other question I'd ask you, and you can, uh, however you answer this is fine, but uh, what do you think in three years, what do you think you've, you're taking out of cross country? What do you think is really worth, was worth it to you? Um, mental for me it was mental and physical strength. I I've done something that I didn't think I could do my freshman year, and a lot of other people can't do at all. They a lot of people won't walk three miles, and I honestly did not think I could finish. But I learned through the years that you know I can do just about anything now that I've survived cross country. What do you think? Before I get to Jamie, the same thing. If you were only s sitting here as a junior now, what do you think you would really be? What do you think you'd accomplish now, next year? A lot. I take it even more seriously than I have. And I get to state some one way or another. I would be there. <laughs> Jamie, what do you think you're taking from it? A sense of myself, uh, a greater sense of pride. Um, basically, I've learned to set limits and then surpass them. If you were sitting here as a junior, which I wish, once again, I wish you, both of you were sitting here as juniors. What do you think you could accomplish next year? Like Holly, make it to state, no matter what. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Terry, uh, 
something maybe they aren't thinking about, but I, I, I assume you guys are, are you guys college bound? Yes. Uh, I can tell you firsthand that regardless of where you go, they'll have a cross country team. And then all you'll have to do will be show up because I know London has had a lot of college runners. And uh, there's lots of people with varsity college letters that, that came out of Coach Nance's program. Uh, I went to the OAC meet one year and I think we had three or four guys right in that meet. So there's future ahead for, for you guys. You're just leaving London, but you've got a, a wonderful future ahead of you and you're all starting on the right track. Well, I would add that uh, all three are outstanding students. And I think the cross country, a cross country runner requires a lot of self motivation, a lot of self dedication. And I think what they brought with them when they started cross country made them good cross country runners. They already had the tools necessary. And uh, obviously, those came from their upbringing and, and their own, what they've accomplished in school. But they are all three outstanding students, and, and I believe all three uh, members of the National Honor Society. So that's, that's, they, they bring that to the program, which just enhances our program. That's very commendable. And I also, knowing some of the history of the cross country programs that goes back, it is a very long line of, of, of people of this oh, caliber, yes. just right on back almost to the start, back to Dr. Bacon. Uh, Jim Bacon, the cardiologist, was a running cross country runner and a two miler. And uh, uh, Mike Cochran and Chip Starr. And, my boy ran right on through to Mark Cox, is right on up through to the present to Mark. It's a, it's a long line. I guess it's a thin red line, maybe. Long red line. Long red line. And, and the, the kids that are coming on now are the front of the line. And, uh, What's I, unique about this whole situation is with all the people that I've had a chance to work with and all the parents and other people that I've got to meet, that they actually, they even pay me to do this. Which is remarkable because it's it's such a pleasurable guy that saw me or was around me probably didn't think it was a real pleasurable business to be in, but at the same time all the people that I've had a chance to work with and, and be around and meet has made this uh, the last sixteen, seventeen years, whatever it's been well, I, very enjoyable and to get a paycheck on top of it is just I know that you've got some uh, some shots uh, from what the London yeah. Invitational is that yeah, we, we got Gary we got on here to see but uh, yeah, I think this is going to be in the video stores uh, <laughs> in time for Christmas I think so well I'll tell you one thing I video town and see uh, so, you know, it's not going to be real expensive either I can oh here we are yeah this is the London Invitational coming back probably around at 3,000 meter mark that's freshman Shanna Ryan she's our number one runner and Jamie should be coming along here. There's Jamie coming along. Looking a little tired at that point. And then next, I think, is a reason why we are very successful this year. Uh, a real cross-country pack running, close running among team members is very important. What kind of gap did you have this year? Uh, I think our average, we average around 90 seconds, which for the ladies is very, very good. We have now that means between number one and number, number five. five. Right. right. Let's see, left to right there is uh, Holly, Melissa Mendel, Alicia Hastings, Betty Bean, Jennifer Lawhorn, and Crystal Strobel. So there's... There's not too many seconds between them. No, uh, that's... And we won the London Invitational, so... And that's the reason right there. That, uh, two girls up front, Anita Lewis, a senior there, running for us, going down the hill. Some old man getting in the way there. I don't know who that is. See, there's Jessica Rhodes, Jr., turning the corner. Okay, now, uh, all London girls ran in this race. Uh, we don't yeah, have reserve Yeah, we didn't rules. separate. Lindsay Loudon there. Uh -huh. Yeah, we didn't separate. Uh, now, is that generally the way it is uh, in all the meets up into the uh, sectional? And it's about 50-50. It's about 50-50. We have reserve and varsity races and some invitations. Keep everybody together. There's Shanna finishing. Shanna was the league champion. Which, of all the good teams that we've had for girls and league champions we've had, we've never had an individual champion in the league meet until this year. Mm -hmm. Took a lot of years to get that. Jamie finishing. Some excellent, strong, strong finishes by our girls. Seem to finish all the races strong. 
I don't know what that guy's problem is. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a madman there pulling them in. But now, I'll tell you, see, I know a little something about this, folks. Uh, Terry Nance is the coach. Terry Nance is the meat director, chief cook and bottle washer. I know you're out there, what, three days before the race starts drawing that line across, what, three and a, three, three point one 3.1 miles, miles away across the golf course. And you got to do it twice to be able to see You it. drive all those stakes, you use all those pennants. Uh, I tell you, I, my hat's off to you. No, I appreciate I, it. We do it to try to put on a good meet because I think you put on a good meet, it reflects, reflects back on our athletes and uh, just makes our program look that much better and uh, we get a lot more respect everywhere we go. Well, I tell you, you've got the respect of everybody in Central Ohio, I know that. Uh, you've been, what, Coach of the Year? A couple uh, times. A couple times. Uh, they don't do that for it if you're not doing a good job. And uh, I want to thank you guys for coming in this evening and, and uh, get out in that school and promote this cross country. Remember. Kids out there that are watching TV, if you want to be on a championship team and get your picture taken with the trophy, well, I think we, we right here old Coach Nance will put you right on the front row. I think we've done that. And just four years ago, we only had five girls on our team. This year we have 14. And uh, right. I think when Mark started as a freshman, we were coming off a year when we had one boy. And I think we had five when you were a freshman. And we had to pay people to, to fill out those five. And, this year we went up to eight, but more importantly, we had people that were serious about running this year. And Good. Year, so. Oh, one other thing, Terry, uh, uh, Shanna, uh, the, the uh, unforced incident that you had at, at the district meet, uh, is that all right? Uh, is things coming along fine there? Or? Oh, at the regional? Yes. Well, actually, she's going in tomorrow, uh, excuse me, on Wednesday to the doctor. going to have blood tests done and a glucose tolerance test. Oh, okay. Some other tests run to see if there's anything going on there of a serious nature, or whether that was just... Okay, well, hopefully everything will be fine. No, I think it will be, but we want to get to the bottom of it to make sure. Fine. It's, uh, I know one of your uh, key things that you always think about is the benefit of the kid and the welfare of the kid. Uh, well, the, the athletes are the children of, of parents. And, and we can't forget that this is a school function. And that the kids are there for entertainment, and that they're there for education. You know, I, I want it to be the kind of team that I wouldn't, as a parent, I would want my own children to be a part of, and I'll let the parents and the community decide if that's the case. Yeah, do you want to tell? You, you have got one involved. She's in the junior high program, you, and you, t you want to tell us about the junior high program? Uh, uh, got just a couple of minutes here. Well, think? we started a junior high and middle school program a year ago just to get some people involved, and. Uh, this year, it's as uh, I think Jamie said, or Holly said, three of the uh, three of our top seven were freshmen, and they were eighth graders on that program last year. And we have a number of young kids involved at the middle school. And uh, how many kids? How many kids were involved? I know we, at the, uh, I the invitational meet you had a junior high. I race. think uh, boys and boys and girls combined, we had I think 15 to 16 uh, kids involved this year, which is a good start. That's the lifeline at the. If we, if we just get a couple from a couple boys and a couple girls coming in as freshmen each year, that'll, that'll be enough to feed the program and keep it alive. That's right. Okay, well, uh, Terry, have you got anything else you'd like to, to, to say to the folks here before we uh, kind of call it a day oh, here? Oh, boy, I don't know. Well, I really, I really appreciate, appreciate you taking the time to come over here tonight, Jim, and I appreciate our athletes for coming in and, and sharing some of their thoughts. I look forward to getting started next year, and obviously we, we still got football live here on Saturday night and maybe even on down the line. So the London spirit is alive, and we want to say go Red Raiders, and we got winter sports kicking off here, so it's just uh, sports at London High School. Just it sounds like you have some other days. interests other than uh, just as a track and cross-country coach. Oh, I have some interests. Uh -huh. one, of those, one of those would be getting home and uh, <laughs> Well, Terry's also the house. athletic director for London High School. You schedule all the officials, all the referees. What you, I just don't know how you get all the work done. Well, I don't schedule all the officials. I only schedule the good ones. Okay. The bad ones you blame on the late commissioner. But I want to. I want to thank you for taking the time to come in here and, and showing us these wonderful kids. And, and, and I know from uh, having a background in London cross country that there's a fine bunch of kids involved in your program, and that they couldn't have a, a better coach to lead them. Well, I hate to lose our seniors. 
but uh, I also know we'll get uh, that's next, the rules. Next, <laughs> that's the way it works. But next year we'll have another good group of seniors and another good group of freshmen coming in, so the process will start all over again. And hopefully, we'll still have people like you being our fans and supporting us. And you got me for life, life, I'll tell you okay. that. Well, Terry, thanks a lot. Thank for you, Jim. Appreciate it. I'd like to appreciate uh, you and all the things that you've done for the kids of London. And I want to thank you guys for all looking in this evening. And Coach Terry Nance and the London Cross Country Team. Thank you very much.